Happy Friday morning, fam. It's Kyle, Brian, and Sarah on Mix 101.5. What a day. State fair underway. Oh, yeah. And, and apparently they had a huge crowd yesterday. Shocking. It was perfect weather well, conditions in the was. 60s and nothing but sun. After all, it's homegrown happiness this year, Sarah. And really, what a boring weekend out off Wade Avenue and Edwards Mill Road. There's nothing going on on that side of town the next two days. Not only do we have the North Carolina State Fair, we also have Jeff Dunham, I believe, there at the Lenovo Center tonight. Also, Sabrina Carpenter there tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. So it is all going down in that area the next couple days. Also, the orange traffic cone experience going to be out there. That is hilarious. (laughs) The orange traffic cone experience. That is a thousand uh, percent. There's a lot of uh, traffic cones we have to watch out for nowadays. I wonder if you're colorblind, what color that comes up as. That is such a good question. You know, my grandpa was colorblind. I wish he was alive so I could take him out there and we could visit the cones. Like the gray cone experience. <laughs> you know, it's it's funny. The Carolina Hurricanes, they typically have uh, every single year like two weeks worth of away games because of this with the State Fair coming to town. That's smart. These cities, and it's not just to Carolina Hurricanes, it's other sports too. When these major events are coming to town. They will work out their schedule around because they don't want all these traffic jams, right? You don't think it's like okay, by Canes, we get Sabrina Carpenter on Saturday night. Do you think other you know hockey teams make fun of us when we have to schedule? Yeah, but we just have to be away for two weeks because we got our state fair. Make fun of? They're jealous. They're you like, think um, so? do you have any fried Oreos you can bring along? I don't know. I was thinking like the bougie, you know. L.A. Yeah. scheduler would be like, oh, yeah, your little state fair is taking I don't over. Know the, I don't know the answer to that, but you did give me a thought, Brian. It is interesting that in that area, if you're in a, a certain spot, like if you're another, if you're a hockey player from another city, you know, unlike a lot of cities, this, it's not in downtown Raleigh, obviously, and there's a ton of trees in that area. You're, you yeah. kind of feel like if you were not from the area, you kind of feel like you're in the middle of nowhere uh, based on the location of that place. And then... <laughs> I was thinking about this the other day. I'm glad you brought it up. I'm thinking the Tampa Bay Lightning played here last week. I'm just thinking some of the players looking off into the distance and seeing the North Carolina State Fair sky gazer off in the distance. <laughs> I'm like, where are we right now? That's like, our skyscraper. Is that, the, is that the State Fair? What, what is that massive Ferris wheel we're seeing, seeing like less than a we're mile fun. away? Uh, either way, hope you had a great day one at the fair. It looked like it was going off. And a lot of fun this weekend. And one of the biggest things that we are excited about and there's so many different things that keep up with the North Carolina State Fair, but one of our favorite things that they do every single year is the Home Chef Challenge, right? And every single day, chefs are taking their favorite concoctions to the next level. And Sarah, God bless her, she's also doing one of these Home Chef Challenges coming up on Sunday. But what is the name of your challenge again, Sarah? You had me at Chiffon. Yes. <laughs> High you, challenge. Which, you can only say it in that voice. Well, of course. <laughs> Sarah, I, listen. And I, given that, I thought that it was, you know, like, I thought chiffon was a fabric. I didn't know it was a pie. I th- <laughs> Honestly, and I thought it was uh, the, the cousin of the chihuahua, the chiffon, but I oh, guess, yeah. you know, it's not the case. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed that you didn't go just with the uh, sinful cinnamon roll challenge, which is taking place today. But, you know, I think the pie thing is going to be fantastic. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm, uh, I'm going to go buy my ingredients today. Wegmans? Uh, probably, although I got to buy a bottle of creme de menthe. Well, Team No Sleep oh. was not here, a lot of you, most likely, at 7.15 yesterday. Oh, I so should please, explain what I'm making. Yeah, You should point. tell them what you decided to do well, yesterday, Sarah. I decided with some help online from our listeners on our Facebook page and from callers uh, to make a Beetlejuice pie, because that's fun. Mm-hmm. And it's going to have a Oreo crust, a mint chiffon center, because it's got to be chiffon, and I'm going to top it off, and this is my... This is what I think is going to get me this is your show an stopper. honorable mention at best. Let's go. Uh, is a marshmallow fluff whipped cream. Mm. And I'm going to make it into the shape of a sandworm. Oh, fine. I'm sorry, I, what? And I'm, I'm, I don't know how I'm going to paint. How are you going to make whipped cream into a sandworm? I'm trying it's to keep up. It's a marshmallow fluff whipped cream, so it's thicker. Okay, I'm and with you. you pipe it. Okay, gotcha. Oh! <laughs> yeah, right? I just got to figure cool. out how to make the black stripes. That is the hardest. I, I'm still working that one out in my head. I have a few ideas. I've got to go to Michael's apparently has a really big cake baking section, so I'm wondering if they've got paint of some kind. Or, or can you use chocolate syrup or create some sort of mint chocolate 
like drizzle that you can just do quick stripes. Oh, <laughs> see, that's smart. You know what I mean? Sarah, yeah, you know, melt, just, help, melt some Andes. You yeah, know, yeah. In a, in a moment where these pie people are going to be so serious with the pies that they're oh, making. Oh, I'm not going to be serious. Because they're showing up to just dominate the competition. And, oh, my goodness, I'm just imagining these pies that are going to be out there on Sunday morning. Um, but for you, showing up with the Beetlejuice theme, I think that is terrific because, one, That'll stand out. Yeah, it might not taste the best or taste as good as all these other ones. Thing is, it's still going to be delicious. Maybe. And maybe. (laughs) We're trying. The reason we're doing this is because Sarah has always claimed she sucks at baking, and good for you for challenging yourself with all these legitimate competitors. I really would like to bake more often because I, my mom was an amazing baker, is an amazing baker. And uh, she always was making us cookies, and she had cakes for us, and cupcakes. She made all my birthday cakes, the Holly Hobby with the little piping to make it, like, all of that. And then uh, I'm just not that, and I feel badly for my son because he deserves to have sweet treats in his house that don't come out of a what package. Is, uh, oh, don't be so hard on yourself. You can cook him a good steak. That's something your mother would... Um... Oh, yeah, she would cook it so she could wear it as a shoe. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah didn't want to eat meat for a long time because I... she thought steaks tasted a certain way. Yeah, I, d- I was a vegetarian because I was like, <laughs> you always have to chew meat so long. You, you just, just thought that was the chewing. meat culture? Uh, yes, and so my mom would make steak... <laughs> And she would pour, you know, because it's gourmet, um, <laughs> a, du- a can of mushrooms on the top. Oh, yeah. Uh, baby. Can mushrooms. Uh-huh. And uh, I That's would just That's a Carolina the- Beach duck sale. Yeah. <laughs> and I just, I hated all meat because my mom cooked the ever-living daylights out of it. <laughs> and so then I learned through various roommates that food can be delicious, that, you know, everything's not burnt and dry. And I was like, oh, my God, this is amazing steak is good. <laughs> Kyle, didn't you introduce your wife to red meat? Yeah, I mean, she had had it before. I just don't think she was, like, a big fan of it. Like, for me, I wasn't a fan of sushi until, like, my mid-20s. It's just right. something well, she normal. wasn't a f- normal. She just wasn't a fan of it. Um, but, uh, yeah, there was this... this. Uh... <laughs> Tell the story about when Mike was like, you don't eat hamburgers. Oh, yeah. This is Kyle's oh. puff out your chest. <laughs> Who's the big man on campus there's now some, story? There's some my baby. That, there's some things of just, just my brain just, just <laughs> says, and I'm like, yeah, I should have probably bring, brought that back a little bit. Oh, dear. It oh, wasn't, Sarah, this it story wasn't is... anything bad. It's hilarious. I can't believe after eight years I've never heard this story. Oh, this story's good. Uh, can I... I want to... You I want can, to finish you take, that. You take the ring. Table that for just a second. I do want to finish the, because now we're shifting completely away oh, from the pie challenge. Oh, you want to talk about well, how, where to go and I, how to see my pie? Yeah, so quickly wrap this yes, up. So yes, 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 Sunday morning, Beetlejuice pie, Beetle here pie. we go. It's going to, you're going to, the Home Chef challenges happen in Dorton Arena in the lobby on the north side, which uh, is on the left side. I don't know why people give direction. We're not carrying around compasses. The left <laughs> side of the lobby. And uh, yeah, and apparently, I didn't know this till yesterday. The, I think it's the winning pies get put in those glass cases. Oh, man. If my pie makes it into a glass case, y'all. <laughs> what a day. That's at least 100 <laughs> likes on what Facebook. Is what does your mom say about your, your baking? Or did I haven't she give told you any... her yet. I haven't oh, told her you yet. haven't told her? Well, uh, we should call her today on the show, sir. That'd be a lot of fun. To, is she up between seven awake. and nine? We'll call her when Sarah has the blue ribbon and a pie oh, okay. in the glass case. Claudia gotcha. doesn't wake up until like 11. She's retired. So Sarah has always claimed she sucks at baking. Well, this is a challenge to herself to level up with legitimate chefs in the Home Chef Challenge Sunday. We wish you the best, Sarah. All right. Thank now, you. in your uh, mind. Yes. Now, right. now, tell Here me about go. how you, you puffed up your chest over a burger. We're going to fly from Dorton Arena over to the western part of Indianapolis inside I'm seven of years Kyle's older. father-in-law's kitchen. I'm seven years older than my wife, yes. right? We started dating. I was 29 and she was 22 at the time. Um, and some of you might have just said to yourself, that's kind of creepy, but hey, either way, here we are. Well, I don't think that's no. super creepy. So uh, 29 it's and 22, little. and uh, <laughs> you know, several months in, and I noticed she's like, you know, she would eat chicken, but like burgers and meats like that, she was just not that into for whatever reason. Um, so then, you know, we went to places that had delicious burgers, and she's like, oh, I actually kind of like, like, this is way better. You got than her to I... take a bite. Yeah, then you're like, oh, this is going way better than I expected. And now we're at her dad's house, and he's making burgers. <laughs> and then I get a burger ready for her, and he's like, oh, no, 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 no. Um, now she doesn't eat meat. She doesn't eat burgers. And I go, she does now. Oh, <laughs> Kyle. Yeah. Who's the man? Who's the man? Who's the burger man? <laughs> What's up, Ronald? No. She does know. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But yeah, that's like one of my uh 
all time favorite quotes. That's hilarious. So Mike is saying, She does now. She does now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it just came out of my mouth. So now I like turn into this all time funny moment. Oh, that's hilarious. And you know how the world works. This is going to come full circle when Sophia is of a certain age. Oh, I and hope is so. dating a guy. And he is going to say something of that exact color to Kyle. And Kyle's going to go, Oh, I hate mm. that kid. Oh, I hate that she oh, married God. a man. You know, just another, like I me. did that. Oh, man. Another funny moment with my father in law early on, and he's a, uh, you know, for those who do not know, I married into a Puerto Rican family. And so the personalities of said family are just a lot of fun. It's a lot to keep up that with. That family's yeah. so fun. Which They're makes all it a good time. Cards. So, but Mike is the ringleader, you know, the the leader of all the WEPAs and, and all that stuff. But one of our first, like, nice dinners out, it was probably four or five months after dating. And for those listening, I think all of us have had that one particular in-law moment or things that stand out with the in-laws or other halves while you're dating. Where you and, go, what did I get into? Or, or just for me, this is just the one that, that stands out. Uh, you know, <laughs> there has been a lot of those mm-hmm. in my life. This was not that moment. <laughs> uh, uh, but we're at this, uh, what's the Brazilian steakhouse that's popular, Brian? Fogo de Chao. Have you heard of Fogo de Chao, Sarah? Nope. Fogo de Chao is one of those places you have a coaster. One side is green, one oh, side yeah. is red. Green means Give Go. me all the meat. Red means I'm so, dying. I've been to one. I've just not been to that one. Sorry. My side story to what I'm trying to tell you. Regardless, uh, he had some beverages. It was for his birthday. And <laughs> and uh, somehow the, this this idea of gray hair got brought up. Like Mike, even though he's in his 60s, <laughs> he only has like pretty much jet black hair. That's why he's so jealous of yes. me. So <laughs> oh, um, yes. in this moment, it got brought up about how he does not have any gray hairs for his birthday, right? He's in his late 50s at the time, mid 50s. And uh, he had some beverages. It was his birthday after all. <laughs> And towards the end of dinner, and something got brought up again. He's like, yeah, look, no gray hairs. Next thing you know, he lifts up his shirt, and <laughs> his entire, I see his nipples. Oh, his dear. entire in the restaurant. In this really nice restaurant. Nice restaurant. We're not man. at McDonald's, Sarah. We're at this no, nice restaurant. $70 a person. He lifts it up, and I'm like, oh, God, I see his nipples in front of me. <laughs> and he goes. <laughs> nipples oh. are happening. And then he's like, look, no gray hair. <laughs> He was just trying to show me all the He's, places he did not have thank, gray hair. But thank God didn't drop trow. And here's one of my most, this is one of my most iconic lines. In this moment, he was not my wife's dad. He was just a guy with a shirt over his head. Yeah. I go, I go in this nice restaurant, I go, put your shirt down, dude. <laughs> Kyle was trying to be a ventriloquist as if it was coming from like a different part of the restaurant. That's- Oh, not me. He needed to hear it in that moment. I'm glad you said it. So now it's just, now it's one of those things that we joke about is, put your shirt down, dude. <laughs> what's I'm a worse, glad uh, you said it. That's so funny. What's a worse Fogo de Chao faux pas, which is coined now? Uh, that or my stepdad who loved the hand towels in the restroom because they were fancy. Oh, those are linen likes. That's what they're called. Linen likes, yes. <laughs> we left Fogo de Chao and he had a stack of about 100 Dave. That he had stolen from the Dave. bathroom that were in our home bathroom for no less than two months. You know what you need to get that man for Christmas? Some um, like linen yeah, towels. Linen like, get him a case, he'll be super happy. It was just, it, you'd come to our house, and I thought, should I be embarrassed? Yep. Did it have he, a branding on it? Oh, hell yeah, it did. Oh, that yeah. is very So funny. you would have come over to our house, you would have used our bathroom, gone over to use the <laughs> hand towel, and there would have been a stack of Fogo de Chao linen likes. That's hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, that's very embarrassing. Both are of we, those. Are we rural Indiana or what? Yours, Kyle, yours was an instant, very big moment of embarrassment. Yours was just a slow burn, Brian. A slow burn embarrassment. Both embarrassing. Yeah. Mm, put your shirt down, dude. All right, with that, oh, she eats meat now, Mike. <laughs> anyway, a lot of funny moments in that first year of dating with an overprotective father. Oh, so good. Who <laughs> saw a older man dating his younger daughter good times <laughs> recommend it for all of you out there actually she just liked a hamburger because it didn't have chest hair in it that's why <laughs> all right team no sleep <laughs> happy friday it's kyle brian and sarah mix 1.5 connection 